everyone, I'm Holly from Hand Printed and here are a few tips about how to hold liner cut tools. There are lots of different types of liner cut tools and we've looked at them in other videos. Um, you can get some that have removable interchangeable blades, some pencil style tools like the ones that come in this set that I've used a lot in lots of videos. Uh, the file tools are like a mushroom handle. But you hold them all in a very similar way. So whatever tools you've got, you want to hold in the palm of your hand. We're not going to hold them like a pencil. We're going to hold them in our hand, usually with an index finger on somewhere on the tool. Some people like to have it further down, some people on the ferrule, further up, whatever feels comfortable for you. I like to have it kind of at the beginning of the blade there on all of these or on the file tool when the blade is extremely long, just sort of extend it out. And that gives me a nice amount of control when using my tool. And that's what we want. We want to use them safely and in a controlled way so we get the designs we want and we don't end up with any uh, plasters needed. So I've got just here a piece of easy carve and I like to carve with a piece of grip matting underneath this non-slip matting. Just helps to keep it um, nice and still, otherwise it's very slidey around, especially if you've got a tablecloth like us. You can also use a bench hook if you like. Um, a bench hook will lock your block into place and hold it in the corner up against your bench and your table so that you can push the tool and it won't move. The disadvantage of those is that you can't rotate them and have them at different angles as easily it um, is held square either that way or that way you can turn it around but you can't rotate it so use whatever setup you prefer so the tool is going to be held in our hand the different shape handles will fit in our hands slightly differently but we all want them to go into our palm these are just a few examples of the different shapes there are lots more as well so we want the tool in our hand finger at the top and it's really important to have your, in my case, my left hand, because I'm right-handed, but you might be the other way around, to have the hand that's holding the tool in front and the other hand behind. You can use it to hold your block still, turn your block, but we don't want to cut towards our hand for obvious reasons. We don't want to get cut. We also don't want to curve and carve towards our bodies. Even really doing it across isn't ideal. You always want to try and go away from you with your other hand behind like this. If you need a little more control, you can use your other hand to sort of guide it and brace it too. If you like to, you can hold them together. It's completely up to you. Do whatever you feel is comfortable. Just make sure that nothing is in front of the blade, everything is behind the blade and you're going away from you. So this file tool with a mushroom handle fits nicely in my palm. My index finger goes on front for control and then I can carve those delicate lines. If I want to change the direction of the line, it's best to change the angle of your lino rather than trying to cut sideways, just turn your block. So you're always carving away from you. It's just a lot safer and a lot easier. There are a couple of tools that we hold differently. If you're doing Japanese woodblock printing, you might have a hangito, which looks a bit like this, this angled knife. And usually you would hold that with a thumb on the end and in your fist. This one's a little long for me. So if I was gonna use it as a hangita, you could chop the end off and make it shorter and cut and you use it carved towards you. But for this type of knife, you could use this one like you would use a scalpel and hold it in your hand like a pencil. And you draw that towards you rather than away, just like a scalpel. There are a few exceptions to um, these rules, but we wanna try and be as safe as possible. If you're carving curves and circles, it's the same as carving in different directions. So try, if you can, to move your hand and your block to help guide you in that curve. It's just gonna make it nice and fluid. If this is getting in the way, if you're doing curves, then you can move your grip matting out of the way so it's more fluid. So I'm rotating my hand and I'm rotating the block at the same time to get that nice curve. If you are carving little circles, little holes in your lino. A really easy way of doing that is sticking the tool quite steeply into the lino and rotating it like that. So your just tool stays pretty much in the same place. Might turn a little bit, but you're just rotating your lino to create those little 
holes there. This will work with all different kinds of shapes of tools, as well as lots of different types of liner as well. We have all these tools and lots of other things at handprinter.co.uk, so do check it out if you're interested in having a go yourself. Use your tools safely. Happy printing.